It's quite wow. a story, isn't God it? God bless him. And there, there are so many of those stories about our American soldiers. Yeah, and today's a good day to remember them, yeah. to say thanks to any troops you may see walking around uh, our streets in the midst of all the festivities. Well, in the meantime, Greg, you fisherman? Oh, yeah. Do you come back home and tell your wife about the fish oh, this I haven't, I haven't big. done it in years, but when I was a little kid, I said it, it was bigger than me. Yeah, none of us ever believed those stories, yeah. but... Wait until you hear what one fisherman actually did catch. Of you guys, and you do great job. And maybe that's true, but I'm not taking any chances. I gotta say, it wouldn't matter whether the thing bit me or not. I'd be dead of a heart attack before it, it could actually make contact yeah, with me. Yeah, that would be a little frightening. I can't take it. I, I have, there's something about me and fish. I think I suffered a fish trauma as a child, but that's the last thing I want to see in the water. Trust me, my special tilapia recipe, and you'll be a fish convert. Ew. Coming up. <laughs> Ew. The military. The military. All right, some pretty good news from the West Bank today as one journalist is finally released after being held for four. Mm. Unbelievable. You know, they're actually trained to do that. To hide in the reeds? Yeah, in the water? no, um, to strap themselves on oh, yeah. to the chopper. And, uh, that, I mean, and they're probably taught how to hide in the weeds as well. But it just gives you a, a, a feel for, you know, we're here, we're on this set, we're doing our job, you guys are at home doing whatever it is you're doing, watching TV, whatever. This is what our U.S. soldiers are out there doing. I mean, yeah. the, 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 the danger that they face every day just for us. Hats off to them this 4th of July. Especially today. All right. Uh, is that a good thing? Well, let's ask. Uh, for a look at what's coming up in the next hour of Fox News Live, a person who is always right in my book, Edie Hill. Edie, Edie Hill. What did you say? It really, it's truly amazing. Yes, so we'll be looking right. forward to that. Well, coming up, are you getting ready to party tonight? Well, you might stand by, I want you. That, who, what man doesn't that work on? How about I'll pay for your dinner? <laughs> anyway, that's a little news you can use here on July 4th. Don't forget, wow. Also, they say meow is another one. We'll be right back. Big arms. Great. On this 4th of July, thanks to all of our troops who are out there putting their lives on the line for our freedoms. Yeah, today's a good day if you see them out there to say thanks, as we always should. Yeah. It was a pleasure having you with us here, Greg, especially with those cute feet and big arms. Oh, it doesn't work on me. Uh, nice try. Uh, yeah, one of our viewers emailed and said, oh, compliments on men? Uh, that's not a newsflash, but it's the way it's the way you deliver them. Manipulation. That is, yes. Wow. Again. And meow. I don't know, Greg. All right. Maybe Edie Hill's got the answers for you. She has got a rock'em sock'em show coming.